Welcome, Ryan. How did it come about that you've um, come all the way over this side of the world from um, it, well, first of all, thank you very much for the uh, welcome. Um, just, just interest from the manager and the club, really, and, and it's an opportunity that I, I don't think that I could turn down. What is it that makes you say that? What do you like about the opportunity? Uh, I think, well, uh, speaking to people that have played out here before, they've said Adelaide is, is in the top echelon of clubs in, in the A-League. Um, the league's getting better. I think it's a step up for me, professionally, uh, to what level I've been playing at recently. And, um, Obviously, to get me out of my comfort zone, it's a long way from home, try something new. I've, I've done the same thing for, for 10, 12 years now, so uh, I think this is the, sort of the change that I need to, to kick on and, and improve. Is that what it is? Because obviously, you look at your numbers, you've been there, you've been doing well in the, the same league for a decade. Yeah, it's... What is it that makes you want to get out of that comfort zone? I don't know, maybe obviously I'm a, I'm a bit older now, it's, it's doing the same thing, you, you sort of stagnate. Um, you, you play to them level, so now I want to really test myself against uh, in a good league. I've, I've spoke to Warren Joyce, that's been here recently, he said uh, that it's a tough league to play in uh, and test myself against in all different types of players. You mentioned Warren, what are the other sort of connections to the A League that you might have spoken to or have seen over the years? Uh, over the years, obviously, a, a few people have come. I've got a friend who plays, uh, Scotty Wooten plays. I've spoken to him about making the move. Obviously, Jack Rodwell's here as well, so. Um, uh, nothing but great things when, when you speak to them people of, of what the league is and, and what it's becoming. Adelaide as a place, do you know anything about it? Uh, not, not so much, no, I've only been here probably a day, but I went for a walk in the, in the city yesterday and it, and it looks nice. Obviously, uh, I've brought the weather over me because it's raining today, so that's a disappointment, but I've, I've been told that it's going to be warm soon. So, uh, yeah, just looking forward to, to seeing it. It's, it's a beautiful place of what I've seen so far and, and I can't wait to experience it. Do you think the way because um, I'm sure you're aware the team likes to play possession based, mm -hmm. attacking, the way the team likes to play suit, suit your game as well? I think so, yeah. I think if, if you look at my background, the, the, the youth system that was brought up in is, is, all, is all about football. Um, I think if you watch my highlights and some of my best attributes, I'm, I'm good on the ball, comfortable on the ball. I like to play forward and, and run forward and, and do stuff like that. So, yeah, I think it'll suit me down to the ground. And Carl mentioned maybe using you more as an eight, where else? play the winger as well potentially and the uh, wherever the wherever the gaffer wants to play me I'll play I'm, I'm happy um, predominantly play play central and I, I like to get forward I like to defend when when you have to defend I like to just be really box to box and, and do what the game needs uh, and hopefully to the best of my ability. Did, um, did Zach Clough play any part in, in helping you come over? Uh, I, I spoke to him yeah and obviously I, I've, I've seen him today and Obviously, to have a familiar face here is, is ideal for me. I've, I've spent half an hour talking to him today and he's been bigging the place up as well. So, yeah, I think he, he played a bit of a part, yeah. Spoke about um, needing a leader in the side. How comfortable do you feel bringing your leadership? Uh, I, I think I'm a, I'm a leader with, with sort of my actions, not really uh, speaking. I think I lead by, by example on the pitch, off the pitch. Uh, I like to drive standards. I, I work hard. So. Yeah, if, if, I can, if I can bring what I normally do, then, then hopefully some of the younger boys can learn off that. Hopefully they can, they can pick up some good traits that I've picked up off, off all the players and experienced players that I've played with. And I think I'm at that age now where I'm, I'm in my prime of physicality and experience where some of the stuff I can do can rub off on, on the talented young players. And what was the recruitment process like from your end? Um, just, just hope the call came that, that they actually wanted to do it. So. Uh, yeah, I've, I've been waiting for this one to come through. Like, like the, the gaffer said, it's, it's took a while, but uh, I had everything crossed when, when it first came up, and, and thankfully it, it, it's happened. We all did plenty of googling when we found out you might be coming over. Obviously, some of the first pictures that come up are you in the United uniform mm. and the four pockets of the world. How do you reflect on, on that time of your life? Uh, I think it was, it was one of the best times, obviously, 18 playing for for the biggest club in the world at the time. I guess there's some debate now that it's probably not, but uh, yeah, growing up, lifelong United fan, nine till to winning the Youth Cup at 18 with some of them boys like Jesse and Ravin, that picture I've known since nine years old. So to, to win a, such a prestigious cup with them was uh, stuff that you'll never forget, really. And that, that youth system, what does that sort of, what path does that sort of put you on as a player for your future career? Uh, I think you learn, obviously at that age, at such a big club, you learn everything you need to know about football-wise, how to be a professional, how to be a man. Obviously, you pick up stuff as you get going, but playing with some great players and, and seeing how, how well our youth team has done individually and, and overall, I think it was, a, it was a really good youth team. Spoke about Googling, one thing that I saw is that you 
I, do, I don't know, I've not really heard that one, but if, if, if people can call me that if they want, hopefully, I, hopefully I'll live up to it. Um, I guess maybe because I, I, I work hard and, and I like to tackle and I'm not afraid to tackle. I'm sure people have seen some of the tackles that I've put in. I've seen one today against Lincoln. Uh, I play with my heart on my sleeve. I, I do whatever it takes to win. So if there's a chance to tackle someone hard and leave a mark, then I'm going to do it. Mm -hmm. Is that what's that story? Uh, I th I, well, obviously he was. He must have had a spare hundred pound lying around somehow. So I think at the time it's just obviously a bit of banter because the odds of of a nine year old doing that are well, he got. I think he got a thousand to one, which is terrible odds. If you if you ask me, uh, it should be millions to one because because it's something only a select few people get to do. So not great odds from the bookies, but um, yeah. I don't know, it's, it was just a bit of banter and then obviously you get older and you get closer and then you start to think, hang on a minute, this, this could actually happen. So um, all the driving around he did for me, all the sacrifices he made, and my mum as well, uh, that, that 10 grand was a nice sort of payoff for him when it, when it came through. Did your family get over you? See any of this throughout the season? Well, I think obviously that's, that's a positive for the family as well, being over here and, and maybe getting an house. They, they now see it as an opportunity to get to Australia and, and see the, the beautiful country as well. So. Um, yeah, no, no one really wanted to come and see me when I was in London and there was only three hours away. So now everyone all of a sudden wants to, to come and, oh, we'll be there, we'll be there. So we'll see. I'm, I'm sure some will come. You're going to need a big house. I'll need one, yeah, if they all want to come, flipping hell.